today is going to be a long video. <laughs> Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about the 34 romance books that I downloaded for free in December. That this might be my biggest haul yet. We're gonna we're gonna get to it, okay? <laughs> okay, so the first book that I ended up downloading is Captured by a Prince by Emma Castle. This is available to purchase for 99 cents currently. Virginia moved from her royal life in Caledonia and its painful memories a long time ago or at least she thought she did. For High Prince Darius, those memories aren't so far buried. Determined to fulfill his father's request to marry Virginia, Darius and his best friend and loyal bodyguard Doran track down the long lost princess, but she won't come willingly. So it's time for a bit of a princely persuasion. They've only got one night to remind her of all she's left behind, one night to entertain her dark desires and to convince her to take the rightful place at their sides. This is a dark forbidden MM f royalty romance next i ended up downloading say you hate me by amanda richardson this is currently available to purchase for $3.99 and it is available on Kindle Unlimited. Natalia, my love life would be almost comical if it weren't so depressing. Why can't romance be like it is in the novels I love? I stupidly assume things can't get any worse but then I get fired from my job. Good one universe. <laughs> now I have no choice but to work for my brother and his surly business partner Anderson. We can't seem to get on the same page about anything. He's judgmental and rude and I can't stand him. To make matters worse, even more trying, he's ridiculously hot. <laughs> Anderson. I never agreed to bring on a new marketing manager and certainly not her. My business partner leads with his heart and when he hires a sister, her ability to crawl under my skin is insurmountable. So why does she make my heart race every time she's close? When things escalate, I lose all semblance of control, which makes me angrier. I can't keep my hands off her even though she makes me crazy. Hatred can drive a person insane, but so can love. So I guess this is an enemies to lovers workplace romance. Sign me up. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Santa's Naughty List by Lee May. This is currently either available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or it is 99 cents. After getting his heart broken by Mrs. Claus, Santa is determined not to wallow in his sorrows. Instead, he brushes the dust away from his weight bench, uses a little Christmas magic and gets swole. <laughs> This season, he's also decided to pay visits to some of the wicked adults on his naughty list, filling their stockings, handing out spankings, and showing no mercy. This is a very steamy, tongue-in-cheek adult Christmas story filled with youthful, with a youthful and very sexy Santa, and some very hot fantasies shipped directly from the North Pole. This sounds fun. <laughs> of course, I downloaded this during the Christmas time. Then I downloaded Lucas by Carrie and Cole, the third book in the Ashes and Embers series. I haven't read any of this series, but... If I see a free one, why not get it? Currently, it is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. A 36-year-old mother of two finds out life isn't over after divorce when a sexy as hell 24-year-old tattoo artist kisses her senseless under a shooting star. Ivy thought she had it all. Married her high school sweetheart, two great kids, and a beautiful house. But her world comes crashing down when she catches her husband with another woman. When her best friend gives her a gift certificate to the local tattoo parlor to cheer her up, Ivy gets a hell of a lot more when inked up Lucas Valentine, renowned tattoo artist, violin player, extraordinaire, and extremely hopeless romantic, captures her heart. Lucas is an old soul with a heart of gold. When Ivy walks into his shop, he's instantly drawn to her shy smile and down-to-earth personality. Tired of the dating scene, Lucas is ready to settle down, and he's hell-bent on making Ivy believe that they can have the happily ever after they both dream about with each other. Despite their age difference, their chemistry and love they share is undeniable. Lucas is everything Ivy never knew she wanted, but can she trust her heart? with a much younger man and can they overcome the hurdles life keeps throwing their way. I love age gap romances and I don't read a lot where the woman is older so hopefully I really like this one. I think I might try and read the first two in the series before this one though. <laughs> Next I downloaded X's and Ho Ho Ho's by um, Pippa Grant. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited and currently you can purchase it for 99 cents. Eight years ago I let the woman I love walk away over canned cranberry sauce and it was the worst mistake of my life. So when she shows up to play Santa for my daughter's preschool Christmas party, you're right, I'm going to try and get her back. Except Caitlin Holly's lost all of her Christmas cheer, which means my job is to help her get it back no matter what it takes. Just a Christmassy novella that I downloaded uh, in December around Christmas time again. Then I downloaded Dear Ava 
by Ilsa Madden Mills. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $5.99. The rich and popular sharks rule at prestigious ivy covered Camden Prep. Once upon a time, I wanted to be a part of their world until they destroyed me. The last thing I expected was an anonymous love letter from one of them. I hate every single one of those rich jerks for what they did to me. The question is, which shark is my secret admirer? Knox, the scarred quarterback, Dane, his twin brother, or Chance, the ex who dumped me. I've heard great things about this book from some of my friends here on booktube and so when I saw this was for free I immediately snatched it up. Next I downloaded A Deadly Sin by Alyssa Woods. This is still available to download for free. Tajel. I am an angeling of the night, protector class assigned to guardian duty, and I am tempted. A war brews in the immortal realms between the angels of light created to love and protect humanity and their ancient enemy, the Fae. The Fae have created a demon plague to stop the humans and their technology from invading the immortal realms. I'm tasked with protecting a beautiful scientist who may do exactly that, but this duty is fraught with danger, not due to the demons who haunt her, but because a fall from lust will plunge me into shadow. I've already been marked by the darkness of the realm, and I vow never to return. Charlotte. I'm a scientist, a physicist, a woman of reason. I don't believe in angels. My ex broke me in ways I didn't even know I could break, but I've moved on and put the nightmares behind me. Now I have work to do, a theory to test, and a billionaire lined up to fund my experiments. If I'm successful, this will change the world. Everything's finally coming together. Then my coworker attacks me, my hot neighbor saves me, and suddenly I'm wondering if there's more to my theories about an extra dimensional world I ever expected. Next, I downloaded Brax, a draconian mail order bride romance by Cara Bristol. This is available to purchase for $2.99. If there's anything Holly Hansen has learned, it's that falling for a persuasive charmer is a sure path to a broken heart. It happened when her fiance abandoned her just when she needed him the most. Everything about the smoking hot alien Brax reminds her of her ex, his good looks, his confidence, his persistence. He won't take no for an answer and shows up night after night at the restaurant where she works. It's enough to wear a girl down, make her doubt her convictions, maybe hope that love can conquer the heartbreak of the past. Draconian Brax is a simple man with simple needs. Find a good woman and have a big family. With females in short supply on his planet, he heads for Earth throughout the intergalactic dating agency. The instant he meets Holly Hansen, his horns begin to throb and he realizes she's the one. His faded mate. He can't wait to settle down with her and make beautiful babies together. Unfortunately, she doesn't seem to recognize they're meant to be together, but he didn't come this far to give up easily and he hopes that with patience and baby steps, he will win her heart. That sounds so cute. <laughs> then I downloaded The Lumberjack's Nanny, A Forbidden Romance by Natasha L. Black. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Max needs to hire a nanny. I need money. It's the perfect deal. One, follow his overprotective rules. Two, take good care of Sadie. Three, walk away at the end of summer. No problem, right? There's a big problem. I've caught feelings for Max, the lumberjack dad. Flirting turned into a secret affair and now I'm carrying around more than a broken heart. I have a little secret that's Max's and mine. How can I go ahead with the deal and walk away when I'm carrying his baby? I know I'm not a big fan of surprise pregnancy, but if it's in the summer, we have a new thing going on now. I prefer when it's in the summer compared to it being big surprise so hopefully I like this one I love the Annie romances so then I downloaded to all the Earls I've loved before a historical Regency marriage of convenience romance by Fina Edgewood this is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for 99 cents standing at dangers threshold lady Gwendolyn Gibson has no idea that love is about to beckon her in hiding from a man who seeks to destroy her life and steal her child the countess has lived for years with a secret past now widowed and threatened with the law Loss of her home, a guardian angel rescues her and makes an offer she can't refuse. Out of options, Gwendolyn wants nothing more than to take a chance and build a new life for herself and her son. But Gwendolyn's secrets will not stay hidden, and as her dangerous adversary steps into the light, he threatens her present, her future, and all she holds dear. Angel Beaumont, the Duke of Inglefield, lives up to his name. A golden Adonis, his looks leave women swooning in his wake, while his fortune is greater than the Crusoe's. Returning to England after witnessing the horrors of battle, Angel seeks to alleviate the dullness of his privileged life with the usual womanizing, drinking, racing, and gambling. Until the night, he steps across Blackwater Bridge and discovers a mysterious woman in 
desperate circumstances. Deciding only he can save her life, Angel makes a gallant proposition, offering himself as her protector in a marriage of convenience. But although Angel believes he can remain aloof in Gwendolyn's charms, this wild living nobleman finds he cannot steal his heart to a woman who is more than she seems and everything he never knew he needed. This sounded fun. I love a uh, single mom historical, so that's the main reason why I downloaded this one. Then I downloaded Wicked Designs by Lauren Smith. This is still available to download for free. Godric St. Lawrence, Duke of Essex, a rake, a scoundrel, and now he's a kidnapper. Godric St. Lawrence, Duke of Essex, relishes the rakish reputation society has branded him with. He has no plans to marry anytime soon, if ever. When he kidnaps an embezzler's niece for revenge, the difficult debutantes blend of sweetness and sharp tongue both both infuriate and intrigue him. Miss Emily Parr is determined to rid herself of the domineering men in her life. Her plan is in shambles when she's kidnapped by the incorrigible Duke. As she tries to outwit him, she finds herself enjoying not only his scorching kisses he steals, but also his companionship. Of course, the most wicked and unwettable man she's ever met would be the one she can't imagine living without. That sounded so good. I love kidnapping romances, so. <laughs> Next, I downloaded NYX, a dark MC romance by Serena Ackroyd. This is still available to download for free. He's dark, dirty, dangerous, a brother in my dad's MC, everything mom told me to avoid, everything I shouldn't want, but his dark, his dirty, and his dangerous are like catnip to me. He stirs fear into the hearts of men, but I hear his rage. I feel it like my own. He's a killer, shameless, some might even call him a psycho. I just call him soulmate. We were born to raise hell together, born to make sick people pay for their sins, born to be king and queen of darkness. Now the king just needs to get the memo. <laughs> I haven't read A Serena Ackroyd yet, but I have heard people loving this series specifically, and I need to find a good, another good um, MC romance series, so hopefully this will be it. Then I downloaded The Scorpion's Mate by Susan Trombley. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. Claire has never really fit in with everyone around her, but she's carved out a life for herself using her own unique style and artistic ability to support herself on the internet. The last thing she expects is to be abducted by aliens and dropped into a research facility where a genetically engineered alien soldier chooses her as his life mate. Vax's pheromones are compelling and his status as a fellow unwilling test subject makes them allies, but Claire isn't certain she can trust someone who is convinced she belongs to him when all she wants to do is find a way to return home to earth a place that her devoted alien can never follow because there's no way a scorpion-like alien would ever be able to pass for a human still she'll accept help where she can find it so she doesn't hesitate to escape with Rex from the facility though their time is running from their pursuers in the warrens beneath the research facility will forever change claire and could make it impossible for her to return to Earth. But will there be anywhere else in the galaxy they could go where their love will be accepted? This sounds so good. I think I saw a post on Instagram about this book and a couple of other alien romances. And so when I searched it up, I saw it was free and I downloaded it. And so I'm very excited because I love me a good alien romance and all of y'all know that. Then I downloaded Say You're Mine by Iris Moreland. This is available to purchase for free still. After Adam Danvers lost his wife in a tragic accident, he stopped believing in love. Instead, Adam has focused solely on running his family's struggling vineyard in the small town of Hernan's Landing. When Joy McGuire, a beautiful and clever journalist, moves to the sleepy town, suddenly Adam can't control his intense attraction to her. She's witty, she pushes his buttons, he wants to shake her as much as he wants to kiss her. But Joy is a journalist and Adam hates them on all principle. He saw firsthand how a journalist's lies destroyed his late wife. Yet as Joy proves that she's nothing like the writers he's known, Adam can't help but give in to exquisite temptation. Suddenly a passion ignites between Adam and Joy, yet as secrets unfold, Adam must trust in love or lose the woman who's awakened his slumbering heart. That sounds so cute. Um, I feel like this book could emotionally wreck me because <laughs> widowed heroes emotionally wreck me. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Blood of Zeus by Meredith Wild. This is still available to download for free. The only thing worse than being a demon is being a Valari. Undergraduate student Cara Valari can sometimes succeed at forgetting she's both. Between lost in the pages of the classics and tucked into the shadows of lecture halls, she can dodge the paparazzi, paparazzi's lenses as well as her family's publicized dramas, not to mention their private expectations. She has one more year to feed her true passions. Then she'll be expected to fulfill a much darker destiny. Cursed with the inexplicable strength and godlike stature, literature professor Maximus Kane 
knows all about darkness. Every day he's reminded of the missteps of his childhood and the devastating consequences they've had on those dearest to him. To atone, Maximus spends his nights alone and his days submerged in the quiet life of academia. His existence has become a study in control and he's become a master at it until Cara Valari walks into his toughest course. Viscerally, Cara's everything he craves. Logically, she's everything he rejects. She is a starlet of privilege. She is also a student. And after one touch, he can't deny she's awakened something in him that may never go dormant. Nothing about her makes sense, but everything about her feels right, especially in the deepest strands of his DNA, which are still shadows of mystery to him. A mystery Kara can't seem to uncover. She's Hollywood's royalty. She's forbidden fruit. And he's pretty sure she's the answer to everything. Next, I downloaded Master of the Hunt by Lisa Blackwood. This is still available to download for free. Syria of Blackstone has fought in many border skirmishes against the centaurs of the lowlands. But when she comes upon a massacre, it's soon apparent the centaur and human dead weren't fighting each other. They were fighting against a third unknown foe. Torin, a centaur huntsman, is following in the trail of a group of soul mages when he encounters Sarah, the most exquisite female he's ever beheld. She's majestic, battle-hardened, strong-willed, and her sharp tongue fires his blood more than any other female he's ever met. When Sarah's natural instinct is to kill the horsemen, she's also swift to see they have a better chance of success if they work together. But there's more danger than just an unknown enemy. As they come to depend on each other, Sarah secretly admires that she has growing feelings for her centaur partner. That's a problem. As a warrior priestess of the moon goddess, Sarah has sworn vows of obedience, loyalty, and chastity in exchange for her magic as soon as her body, heart, and soul can never be shared with another. As such, her body, heart, and soul can never be shared with another. Not even a noble centaur with equal parts desire and tender longing in his eyes. But centaurs are renowned for their stubborn natures, and Torn plans to claim Sarah's heart, even if he risks having the warrior priestess bury one of his one of her blades in his chest for her troubles. This sounds really fun. It's a fantasy romance. And I've never read anything about centaurs before, so. Next, I downloaded Bratva Vow by Shauna Bell. This is still available to download for free. Katya, after spending years in hospitals, I can finally have a life. Then my mom abandons me to the care of the most breathtaking man I've ever seen. He's like the embodiment of death, a Greek tragedy waiting to unfold. Can I break through the darkness that has hold of him? Kristoff, my soul is black as tar. I'm a cold-hearted killer, the leader of my own bratva. What mother in her right mind would leave a teenage daughter on my doorstep? A desperate one who's willing to make a deal with the devil. I read this one earlier this month and I really enjoyed it. And so I'm gonna be reviewing it in my wrap up if you wanna see my review for it. Then I downloaded All the Ugly Things by Stacey Lynn. This is still available to download for free. One night changed everything. In a single breath, my entire future was ripped away. Now I'm left simply trying to pick up the pieces. Endless nights waiting tables in hopes of keeping a single piece of the dream I left behind. He came for pie with dark eyes and a cocky smile, but those eyes saw more than they should. Past my walls to all those secrets that I had long buried. That should have been my first warning. I should have said no when he offered me a job too good to be true but I said yes. Slowly, friendship sparked to something more. Stolen moments became an obsession neither of us could kick. Hudson gave me more than I'd ever dreamed. So much of what I had lost, a home, a family. I should have known it was all a beautiful lie. I should have known he'd only leave me with the ugly things. It says this book ends on a cliffhanger and it's a duet, so just be aware. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Seducing a Stranger by Kerrigan Byrne. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $5.99. I'm not gonna read the summary for this one just because it is is uh, book seven in a series and so I don't want to read too much into it. I just whenever I see a free Kerrigan Burn book I immediately download it so that's why I downloaded it last month. <laughs> then I downloaded Flame by Shell Bliss. This is still available to download for free. Gigi Gallo's childhood was filled with the roar of a motorcycle and the hum of a tattoo gun. Her dream has always been to work at her family's tattoo shop, Inked, but on her first day of work she runs into someone from her not so innocent past. Pike Moore is a bossy biker with a cocky attitude and even bigger ego. He came to Inked to start over. New town, new job, new roots. None of them included coming face to face with the hot chick who spent a week in his bed before she vanished without a trace. When they are forced to work together, feelings they thought had been extinguished come roaring back and ignite a spark neither of them can stop. I have read one or two Shell Bliss books before and I really liked them, so hopefully I really like this one too. Next I downloaded Alien Meat Market by Lizzie Begwin. 
Bequin. Bequin. <laughs> uh, this is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. I feel like this is gonna be a dark alien romance, so just be aware for the summary, okay? Um, yesterday, I was a human being. Today, I'm nothing but a piece of meat. There was a time when I doubted the existence of aliens. Now I'm a believer. I'm alone on the stage, vulnerable, frightened, sweating in the spotlight. Meanwhile, a crowd of alien monsters are casting their bids. The prize? me. This place is a meat market, literally. To these alien beasts, I am nothing but a delicacy, a tasty morsel of exotic food, except for the aliens who actually end up claiming me. The Raksha. Raksha. <laughs> Five terrifying purple-skinned males, all rippling muscle and growly alpha dominance. These guys have a different kind of hunger smoldering in their orange eyes. They own me now, body and soul. I'm their pet, their plaything. Theirs to use, to share, to dominate as they see fit. It turns out the Raksha have a problem. The females are all gone, wiped out by a plague. Their entire species is now doomed to extinction. For some reason, they think I can help, and they're about to show me how. I'd say my chances of ever returning to Earth are slim to none. By the time the Raksha are done with me, maybe I won't want to. That sounded good, okay? <laughs> that sounded good. If I see a free alien romance, I'm getting it, and so... I got it. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Rapture and Ruin, an enemies to lovers mafia romance by Julia Sykes. This is available to download for free still. Max Ferrara is a ruthless pr mafia prince, a monster out of my worst nightmares, but it's not his scarred face that makes him a beast. My father, the mayor, sent most of his family to prison. I'm the key for revenge. But my innocence sparks his obsession. The chemistry we share is undeniable, and I can't help being drawn to the damaged criminal who watches me from the shadows. His pain calls something deep inside me, and I'm quickly becoming addicted to his dangerous presence in my life. When other bad men threaten me, my possessive stalker proves to be my dark protector. With every stolen kiss, I fall harder for the man who should be my fearsome enemy. If our families discover our relationship, we'll both suffer painful consequences. Our love could be our ruin. Next, I downloaded Hoops Holiday, a holiday collection by Kennedy Ryan. This is available off of Kindle Limited or you can purchase it for $2.99. I downloaded this simply because this is a Kennedy Ryan. I haven't read it a Kennedy Ryan yet, um, but all my friends rave about her, so that's why I downloaded this one. I'm not gonna read the summary because I believe it is a part of the Hoop series, and so I don't wanna spoil myself at all by reading the summary for any other book. Next, I downloaded Stolen by the Wolves by Lex Robinson. This is a Viking Omegaverse book. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. It is the year 870. Hordes of Vikings sweep through the Greenlands of Northumberla, Northumbria and Ireland, raiding and pillaging. Soon, no kingdom will be safe from their bloodlust. Tamsin has always been safe behind the walls of her sanctuary, safe enough to yearn for a glimpse beyond the world. But with the Viking threat looming, even her secretive kingdom must open its gates for, to invite allies, and she gets far more than a glimpse. The three lords of Dublin are on the hunt for women of their kind. Thran Mordison, youngest of the three, and bent on a personal vendetta, doesn't take much stock in the ancient prophecies. He marches into battle for the glory rather than the spoils, until he finds himself standing in front of a fiery-haired princess, and the touch of her hand wakes an ancient magic in them both. Once Thran has earned Tamsin's trust, once he has tasted her and the fire of her godhouse, his loyalties begin to splinter, and all he knows is that he must protect her from the coming storm at any cost. Next, I downloaded Hard to Love by Willow Winters. This is still available to download for free. Our love story isn't a tragedy, but it sure as hell started out like one. I grew up in the life and learned to hate everything in this town, everything but her. She was my constant through it all. Just a look would tempt and torment. Just a touch would singe and soothe. I only survived because she was by my side. I feared the danger would bleed into what we had. After all, she was too good for this world, but I was too far gone to push her away. I was Laura's downfall. Problem was, she was mine too. I really like Willow Winter's TikToks, and so when I found one of her books was free, I immediately snatched it up. Next, I downloaded Fixed on You by Laura Lynn Page. This is still available to download for free. Stalking and restraining orders are a thing of Aliyah Wy Withers' past. With her MBA newly in hand, she has her future figured out. Move up at the nightclub she works at and stay away from any guy who might trigger her obsessive love disorder. A perfect plan. But what Alana didn't figure on is Hudson Pierce, a new owner in the nightclub. He's smart, rich, and gorgeous, the kind of guy Alana knows to stay away from if she wants to keep her past tendencies in check. 
except Hudson's fixed his sights on her. He wants her in his bed and makes no secret of it. Avoiding him isn't an option if he offers a business proposition she can't turn down, and she draws further into his universe, unable to resist his gravitational pull. When he learns Hudson has a dark history of his own, she realizes too late that she's fallen for the worst man she could possibly get involved with. Or maybe their less than ideal pasts give them an opportunity to heal each other and to finally find the love their lives have been missing. I've liked a few of Laurel and Page's books, so when I saw a free one, I downloaded it, obviously. Next, I downloaded Dark Protector by Avalyn Page and Jerry Glenn. This is still available to download for free. Blair's life isn't perfect, but she has a plan. Find a new roommate, finish school, and finally start the future she's been working so hard for. And then he knocks on her door. One unwanted visitor is all it took to crush her reality and leave her living in fear. But at least she's living, thanks to the help of a good Samaritan. A very sexy tattooed and motorcycle riding man with a dog that looks as savage as he is sweet. Green Peace saves her. He makes her feel safe, makes her feel a lot of things she's never felt before. But the danger is not over. Her attacker is still there, lurking in the shadows and waiting to strike again. Green Peace will put his life and his club on the line to save the captivating woman that's stolen his heart, but even that might not be enough. Next I downloaded Made It to the Cyborg General by Kit Tunstall and Aurelia Sykes. This is still available to download for free. One moment, completely human and modern day Carrie Morgan is crocheting in her living room. The next, a peach alien claiming to be a celestial mates agent transports her and her dog 400 years into the future. He leaves her there to be discovered by her supposed fated mate, a blue-skinned cyborg general. The sly agent failed to mention a few things, like the fact the humans and cyborgs are at war with each other. She's certain Frieden wrote is crazy, but as she gets to know the cyborg general, she realizes maybe there's something to claim that DVS-84 is meant to be her mate. Passionate knights further convince her that perhaps she's in the right place at the right time to find her happy ending if she survives the challenges of her new environment. That sounded really cute. <laughs> Again, an alien romance, so immediate click. Then I downloaded Cricks, another alien romance by Kate Stevens. This is still available to download for free. Working a dead end job in a chocolate shop, Meredith Sinclair has all but buried her dreams of finding happiness. But when a bland looking man comes into the shop and starts asking her suspicious questions, the most ridiculous thing happens. He turns into a horned seven foot tall alien right before her eyes. When a human sees his true form, he has no choice but to take her back to his ship. But at the touch of her soft skin, his blood ignites like it has with no other female. When the Harklin, Harklian government orders Meredith transferred to a lab for study, Crix will do anything to save her. Is it possible a human could be the fated mate to an alien royal? And if she is, will Meredith and Crix be able to escape his crew for a future together? Next, I downloaded How the Monster Stole Me on Christmas Eve, a Christmas monster romance by Jade Price. This is available off Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for 99 cents. I read this last month in December. It's in my December wrap up. This is essentially a monster romance that is also a Grinch retelling. Then I downloaded A Countess for Christmas by Anthea Lawson. Uh, this is available to download for free still. Miss Cecilia Fairfax dreads the upcoming holidays. Between caring for her elderly father and managing a household barely out of mourning, she has no time for the softer things in life. Liam Barrett, the Earl of Tarek, is certain he will not accept Marcus Fairfax's invitation to spend Christmas at the Fairfax family's estate and the man's tales of a family ghost will have nothing to do with his decision. Oh, that summary is really short. Okay, it's only 55 pages, so I guess this is just a short, sweet historical romance Christmas novella. Next, I downloaded Heart of Eve by Pam, God Pam Godwin. Um, so I downloaded this book simply because it is a Pam Godwin book. It's still currently free to download if you want to download it. Um, my friends love Pam Godwin, so all the summary says is my vow of celibacy has never been broken or tempted. Not even when the plague thrust me into a lawless, brutal world. So why did God send the only surviving woman to a priest to test me or to save me? I've never heard anybody talk about this one, so we'll see what I think about it. Next, I downloaded Thief of Dreams by Beck McMaster. This is still available to download for free. When Prince Kier of the Court of Dreams sends out a summons in search of a bride, the Wraith King sees a chance to steal the powerful dragon's heart. He sends his best thief, Zemera, as a ghoul to penetrate the court as one of the potential brides. All Zamira wants is freedom from the chains that bind her to the king, and if she finds the relic, she'll have it. But the court of dreams is more dangerous than she ever expected, and Zamira must soon choose between her freedom and her heart. So I think this is like a 
another one of those tropes where like you want to kill somebody but you fall in love with them kind of thing so i love that trope so i'm excited for this and i just adore this cover i think it's beautiful and lastly i downloaded her vampire prince by ines inez johnson this is available to download off of kindle unlimited or you could purchase it for 4.99 kari how hard is it to die don't ask me i've been failing at it for a year my father lost his life in a fatal car wreck while I walked away without a scratch. Now I taunt death on a daily basis. Volcano hopping, street racing, skydiving, but then death comes for me. Hadrian, for centuries, I've been a dead vampire walking, no warmth, no feeling, no reason to live. Then she bursts into my life, a mortal daredevil with a carefree laugh. She literally falls from the sky and into my arms. She's got a death wish and I've got a hunger only she can slake. She is my prey, but she wants to leave? No way, she's mine and I'm never letting her go. So there you have it, that was a very long, December ebook haul. <laughs> Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to or if you want to download any of these books. Did this video spark you to download any of them? Please let me know. Um, but anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all!